When Master Evil comes to play And Mother says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made To watch these movies To stay alive Until the day they made us gay Oh, hello, prisoners! It's me, Master Evil, and, of course, Mr. Flivel in his costume. And we want to wish all of you losers a happy Halloween. And I didn't get you any candy, so there. <laughs> Okay, so Master Evil did a Halloween greeting, so I guess that means he's out Halloweening and trick-or-treating, and it's Halloween, I guess, so we just, we're just going to be stuck here doing nothing on Halloween, man? Maybe we'll get some trick-or-treaters. Maybe he left some candy in my barrel, and I can, like, hand it out through the, the grate in the back there. Well, you know, if I'm being honest, man, I'm... I'm kind of just ready to be done with all this. What if we take this opportunity, get the worst possible movie ever, we watch it together, and we go out together, man. We just end it. What do you think? Thelma go and out Louise. on Halloween. Thelma and Louise style. I love it. Let's it's do it. Just, well, there's only one problem. I, I don't have any idea of how to open the vaults or do movies. Do you? I, I, I know what to do. Is that your clown? Yeah, I guess he's here. I didn't know he was here. No, did, did you invite me out? Oh. Okay. So, how do we do it? How do we watch a shitty movie that will finish this off? Well, first I have to turn you to 1980s game show contestants. What? Of course, of course. Wait, how do you... Oh, do I... Ow! Oh, no, oh, oh God. God! Um, so I guess we're playing Press Your Luck, man, so, uh... Instead of no 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 whammies, we're gonna go for no ghoulies. No ghoulies, no shitters. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. You no shitters, I'm no ghoulies. Okay. And let's go. No ghoulies, no ghoulies, no ghoulies, no ghoulies. Good movie, no shitters, good movie, big money. No, no, no shitters. Dinner. Like we want shitters. We want to die, right? Sure. A dinner. A blankets, baby. Before I die. Uh, no water. No ghoulies. Stop. It's Michael Myers! Oh, oh. Oh, cool. So he's going to give us, like, the worst Michael Myers movie to kill us, right? Uh, no, I want to I keep you guys around. I, I'm not giving you that. What? No. No. Master Evil might not be here, but I'm here. And I'm going to give him the shittiest Michael Myers movie ever. Okay. <laughs> so, who opens the vault? Sister Evil? Oh, Peacock. No, this could be good. It could be WWE something. We could be watching a pay-per-view. He already said it's Michael Myers, though, man. He just didn't tell us which one. Well, maybe he got it confused with, like, Kane or The Undertaker or something. This, this oh. could be good. As long as it's not part of that Blumhouse trilogy, I'm good. Blumhouse, Blumhouse. What do we got? Basically, basically any... Like, I'd even do Rob Zombie, to be honest with you. I like that one. Yeah, no problem. Wait oh, a second. Oh, it's the Northern Lights. What, what's that movie? This is uh, the sequel to Spaceballs. Oh my god, it's another production company. That's like three so far. Or, excuse me, not Spaceballs. Spaced Invaders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Haunted House movie with Michael Myers, apparently. Annabelle versus Michael Myers. What? Oh, it's another production... Oh god, it's Bloomhouse. That's like four Great. production companies. Well, maybe it'll be the first one. 
Maybe it'll, it'll be, be like the... the five screens. That's 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 the audience watching the movie screaming right now, folks. Those are that no, this is foreshadowing. That's me and you at the end of this viewing. <laughs> that's Pennywise. We're watching it. It's okay. I would love to see Pennywise versus Michael Myers. That's great. Oh, dude, this is this is kills. Oh my god, he gave us. I haven't seen Inge yet since I've been in the dungeon. I hope we never have to. I've heard it's bad. Well, if everything goes as planned, maybe we'll end before we have to see ends. If this works, this is a pretty bad one. Oh, it's Velma. That's uh, actually, yeah, that is Velma. He w he was recast, or Velma was recast because <laughs> uh, it's woke now. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Oh, I'm just hanging on the fence. Hanging at the fence. You know what sucks about that is he just had a bunch of expensive dental work done and his parents are going to be fucking pissed. You know what the last thing that went through his mind before he died was? What? The fence post. <laughs> Even if he lives through that, he's going to have tetanus for sure. It's a good thing nobody's driving on Halloween night. What a shitty cop. He's sleeping on the job. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He fell off the asteroid. Wasn't he in Armageddon? Oh, I'm so old. Armageddon old. He was the coach that got replaced by Denzel and Remember the Titans. Is that the Flash? The Velma, Velma looks like the Flash. No, that is not the Flash. Although what I can totally at the see... Blood? If he was the Flash, Josh, he could have, you know, went back in the quantum realm <laughs> and fixed this. He keeps taking his hand off the dude's neck to look at it. Keep the pressure on there, you dumbass. Velma is not a doctor. Velma investigates mysteries and spooky things. Oh, this is 1978. <laughs> you know how I know it's 1978? Because it told us. Yep, that's it. And, ever, and he's got Michael just can't hear under the mask or he would have he would have complied. Wait, did he just phase through that gate? Go, Michael. It might you know, in Michael's defense, he probably couldn't hear through that mask because a 1978 whore mask probably didn't have holes in the ears. Is this a junior police officer? He just came along for the ride along, and the other guy was murdered that was leading the ride along. So he's all that Haddonfield has left. Did we really need the flashback to tell us we were in Haddonfield again? <laughs> okay, these are like high schoolers. What the hell? That guy talking right there, do you think that haircut? existed in 1978 well yeah right look there. at it look at it this is 78 mm. man this is footage they never used in the original it was deleted scenes i don't know uh i don't i don't recall too many of my dad's photo albums with people with haircuts that looked exactly like 2022 <laughs> well yeah there's a hot chick across the street changing all the time it's not his fault why Why is he acting so nonchalant? He was literally just chasing Michael Myers, who just killed a bunch of babysitters. And now he's like, oh, the other guys are here? Okay, well, let's just go have a heartfelt discussion by the moonlight. What is he doing? <laughs> that dude's like, God, I got to get to school in the morning. I got 10th grade English. Oh, hey, it's those classic 1970s little girl gangs. Who who just stares or stands there and just lets bullies talk shit to him? He doesn't even attempt to leave the circle here. Do you remember growing up in the eighties and nineties when like a, a group of little girls would just bully the shit out of you? Yeah, it was called square dancing, and it was when I asked them to square dance. Wait, their 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 gang is the Mullanies, or that's their last name? I'm confused. They couldn't use O'Doyle because Adam Sandler wasn't involved in this production. 
Sure, I'm not gonna tell. She licked my my eyeball gumball. I want to press charges. So is the kid, the boy bully, is his hair, is that part of a costume or is that just his actual hair? That's a good question. He looks like Yahoo Serious from Young Einstein. That You remember that movie? Yes. <laughs> Yahoo, yeah, Yahoo Serious, wasn't that his name? Yes. He's like in one, he's playing a violin in the bathtub. I remember the trailer. <laughs> Wow, Haddonfield is loud. That he actually wasn't being bullied at all. He's just severely schizophrenic. He just envisioned and made up all that in his own head. There's no candy in that bucket. Yeah, not a very productive night in Haddonfield on Halloween night for old Lonnie. Not There's a lot no of candy, getting bullied. Uh, getting Pete beat up Pete. by a girl, little girl gang. The Pete and Pete bullies are... Going to start smashing pumpkins around him? Uh-oh. And now Michael Myers is going to get his first victim. Michael's like, oh my god, he farted. Ugh, never mind. No, Mike is going to pass him by because he doesn't have any fucking candy. Yeah, how did you not see him? If I was Lonnie, I'd tell the cops, since I didn't have any candy to begin with, I'd say that somebody took all my candy, so then they'd have to be legally obligated to replace my candy. Gotcha. Because I didn't have any, you know. They'd never know. Are we going to get another flashback to 63 now? I'll just keep going back. <laughs> Haddonfield, 1963. Oh, that's a perfectly sized round hole in that window. What was he doing in that window? Are you trying to imply that he stuck his? <laughs> his Apparently, little... you are. I didn't his... say that. He might have just had a glass cutting hobby. The Try shape a light is... switch. The shape is actually referring to his penis. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Just a dog that's been half eaten. It's nothing. I don't, I'm, I'm not a police officer or anything, but I'm almost positive this is not how you clear rooms. <laughs> like, well, they, they are sophomores in high school as well, so they're still training. Well, I'm just saying, I don't think this is how you clear a room for, like, in the police officer world here. You don't just point your guns at each other and just go in without backup. They're not announcing themselves. Oh, he just came out of the closet. Let's go investigate that banging noise upstairs that hasn't responded to all of our... Anybody here? Spiderwebs, that's what's got you... Okay. This guy's fired. Yeah, I'm not understanding. Uh, he literally was just chasing Michael Myers like four minutes ago, and now he's got backup, and now he's scared. They've got the evidence against me. It's all over the walls. That's the kind of face he has right there. I'm caught. The real killer in this house is the wallpaper. It's a killer of architectural dreams. Hey, dude, come check this out. This chick's getting naked across the street, man. Damn. He was watching that girl naked across the street so intently, and it, his feet were leaving imprints in the ground when he was touching his shape. Michael's like, you can't tell anybody about her. That's my secret. <laughs> That's my spot where I peep on chicks, you dick. By God, he's got him in a sleeper hold. That cop has a family, by God. Michael's going to break his neck in half. Puppies. Oh, the puppy was dead, my bad. This cop, since he since he's from the future, because there's no way that haircut exists in 1978, you think if he's going back in time to fight Michael Myers, he would have brought some future weaponry? <laughs> he's like, fuck it. I didn't like my partner that much anyways. Michael's not even scared. He's like, dude, shot his partner. I can just walk out of here. He's a horrible shot. 
God, he got choked. He got choked in the neck, and then he got shot in the neck by his own fucking partner. And then in the future, the guy that shot the guy in the neck is laying on the ground bleeding from the neck. Hey, and then we go back to a flashback of Haddonfield, 1953, <laughs> of when he's a child and he accidentally uh, did something to a kid in a sandbox in Haddonfield. 1933, and he had the umbilical <laughs> cord wrapped around his neck when he was born. <laughs> Did you see her titties? Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. It was worth it. Uh. Hey, dipshit, get some pressure on that wound. He's just bleeding out here. Michael shot him. You know what he should have did is grab some freaking cobwebs and stuff it in the wound. Well, that's all, you know, it should be on his police belt, you know. Handcuffs, baton, gun. Cotton balls. <laughs> that dude's like, what. oh my god, that's a horrible, horrible CGI job. What I'll the hell? You, that's not CGI. That is practical. Gotcha. It is. I was going to say, I was just going to say before I cut you off twice. <laughs> um that's a really great practical effect they did for this film. That's one of the only great things they did in this film. Wait, Halloween kills the franchise. They had that sign set up right there to sell the house, but nobody's even cleaned the house, man. Yeah, she sh the realtor is showing the house, but she doesn't clean the fucking thing. Oh, that, that pumpkin's defective. It's bleeding. They didn't drain the blood from it. I, I will say I love these openings with the pumpkins. Oh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Michael McDonald, the dude from the Carnosaur movies <laughs> and Mad TV. <laughs> Look what I can do. He was in both Carnosaur 2 and 3. It's like just people that get killed. Oh, he's a helicopter guy in 2, and then he was a cop in part 3 and gets eaten by the raptor at the end. That's a hell of a jack-o'-lantern, man. That's how you do it. This That's is everything. Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween. Sorry. That's everything that the movie Jacko wished it could have been. Right there. Ooh, that's one I'm going to do live on the channel, I think. What do you mean live on the channel? What channel? Yeah, we're, we're, we're in a dungeon. Okay, <laughs> Danny McBride ruined these movies for me. Because he took out the whole sibling angle, and it just, yeah. What, you like the sibling angle? I think it makes it more intense, because until he's dead, she can never be at peace. But, I mean, not being siblings, he's really got no reason to come after her again. <laughs> he's just a man who takes his job very seriously, Josh. Open Mick night, did you see that? Halloween night, 2018, Haddonfield. <laughs> Did you sing at the open mic night? Oh yeah, he's a nurse and she's a doctor. That's great. In real life, then they're dressing opposite. Hey, that one guy had a really cool costume as an alcoholic. champagne like always looks like so fancy and classy but if you go to a like a bar it's the cheapest bottle you can get for the most part bottom shelf under the bottom shelf talent show i thought it was open mic night go get a couple just reach behind you Are you are you eavesdropping on my conversation? Listen, I just wanted a couple drinks. I didn't ask for your fucking life story. Alex Vanover. 
He used to dust his balls. Oh, bust his balls. I'm sorry. This crowd dies tonight. <laughs> He's going to kill the crowd with this. Anthony Michael Hall. Damn, he's wearing the sweater I wore to my senior photo in fucking 2001, ladies and gentlemen. Take it off! Is that like a Timothy Oliphant stand-in in the middle right there? All right, get fill me in here, Josh. Are are they not aware of what just happened? They don't know Michael Myers was the events of the previous film. I they're know, not aware right? Of it yet, yeah, like it, it's not there yet, and they don't even okay. know what happened in '78. Apparently, okay. The town of Haddonfield doesn't know who Michael Myers is. Yeah, because he. Okay, so that actually makes sense because the Flash, uh, Velma just found. Uh, Hawkins all jacked up and then his friend was on that fence so that Dang happened it. in the first movie okay so we're still on the first night I guess oh yeah you know how to really suck the fun out of the room asshole I know the only person killing anyone in Haddonfield tonight is him killing the vibe Dude, asshole. Wait a minute. So does he do this every year? Because he doesn't know Michael Myers has escaped, right? So does he just go up on stage every year at this bar and tell the same story? And if he does, why does he have to keep, like, using the secret code names and stuff instead of just the names? And why do the survivors from the first two films get together? They don't even know each other. Previously, for the most part. They have a Michael Myers survivor support group. That's pretty impressive, too, because 78, there's no social media back then uh, or anything. So they were actually probably communicating like in person or through letters, handwritten letters. That that clown guy there looked like he was really entertained. That's kind of fucked up to say. Note to self, do not let him speak at a wedding, a bar mitzvah, a quinceanera, or anything important to anybody at any moment, at any time. They're they're in the back of the truck, and they're like, uh, does it feel like this, this trip to the hospital has taken two years? It feels like two years. <laughs> the, the stress of the evening has aged them two years. Yeah. Because that's what uh, firefighters do when a house is engulfed in flames. They run into it and try to save it. Come on now. Nobody even called it in. Yeah, yeah they're, and there's they have no, like, no reason to believe there's anyone even alive in the house. It's, it's too far gone. They would have let it burn. Well, like, shit, good... we got we to gotta save the sequel. Get in there and get him out of there. I know, it's a good thing they actually went in there to save them. Uh, because they saved Miramax. Okay, Lori built a horrible trap if it was that easy for somebody to fall through the floor during a fire. <laughs> Should have been all metal. Yeah, some fell through the floor the... again. <laughs> Dumb Lori. I've been preparing for 40 years. I didn't even, I thought of all the possibilities except a fire. Well, she's not fucking uh, Mr. Brady, man. She's not an architect. He's doing like a brutal version of beating up the security guard and putting on their clothes. <laughs> Use their intestines for a rope. Michael Myers is a badass. He's still wearing that mask in that, that extreme temperature environment. You know that fucker can't breathe in that thing. Come on now. Gotta be merged by now. Take my hand, yeah, Michael. Mad. The sequel needs you. <laughs> <laughs> the franchise needs you, Mike. Take my hand. 
You should have at least let him pull you out first, Mikey. That was a scream. You never heard one in your life before. Wait a minute. So how did he get out? Did, did the guy pull him up? Yeah, he gave me. He pulled him up. <laughs> Y'all don't Michael know who Myers... Michael is, so why are y'all looking like you're terrified? Does Michael Myers eat food or drink water? He eats he's, dogs. He's... No, seriously, does he eat? <laughs> Where yeah, does he, he eat at? He eats dogs. He really does. That's that's literally what he does. Wait, how do y'all know he's wanting to hurt you? Well, oh, he doesn't okay. look like he's he doesn't look like he's coming to help them. Okay, he's not a witch. I tried. Your turn, guys. Water didn't do it. <laughs> Those firefighters better not cross streams. Let's attack him one at a time, guys. That definitely will get us will, will get us victory. Fire, firefighters are not skilled fighters, Josh. Give them a break. It's in their name. Firefighter. Come on now. Don't worry, honey. I'm the star. <laughs> They're like, we've been looking at Lori's vitals. If she hadn't had a, a balanced lunch of Activia yogurt, she'd be a goner for sure. He's like, oh, I wish I could do some trading places right now. So Brackett's still working the desk, huh? Uh, he's, we, what is he, about nine, 92 years old here? And we know it's Brackett because they showed his name tag. It's not my time. This is an actual, yeah, that's 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 an actual visual of Josh and I washing our hands after every Slash Tracks movie, movie viewing. Oh, that's what's important. My ring's clean. <laughs> and that's our ring we wear as a vow to Master Evil that we will never leave him. I got to get out of here and get to, get to Oklahoma, fight Gozer. It's a mad world. My screen's blurry. Mine too. Can you breathe on it and wipe wipe that moisture off, please? Well, I hope I hope Lori survives her C section here. They're pumping <laughs> they're pumping a whole pint of Activia into her. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, she's like full of laid open here. Well, that way it makes perfectly good sense later when she's running and uh, screaming and uh, fighting Michael. Oh, that side door would have made an alarm go off. Come on, keep it real. I guess I guess aggression and and everything skips a generation. I fed you part of him earlier. Oh, you know what I just noticed? The de the guy who plays her dad, they're talking about that's dead right there, yeah. was the guy who played Artie, the strongest man in the world on Pete and Pete. And I made a Pete and Pete reference when they were smashing pumpkins earlier. Hell yeah. Good job. That's crazy. Oh, come on. You're not going to kill this lovely couple, are you? And I don't really understand why they put it out because it was engulfed in flames. It's weird. It's almost like they were trying to save somebody. Damn it. And Michael's only weakness is drones. She almost had a, had a way out. Why would a drone be his only weakness? <laughs> I don't know. Lamps was Freddy's only weakness in Freddy's Revenge. <laughs> It's just me, the killer. It's just me, Mikey. Well, give us a courtesy flush. Freddy's only weakness in Freddy's Dead was uh, explosives, throwing stars, daggers. Lamps and Rhonda. <laughs> you didn't use the last of the toilet paper, did you? COVID's a bitch.
Yeah, 2020, COVID was going pretty hard at this point. The dude was like hiding behind that like nobody could see him. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> it's the third time this month. That's my reaction. Wait a minute. How did I thought he just locked him into the bathroom? He How did he get the through walls? There? That's the second time he's teleported. Okay, yeah, get out of there. Trick or treat. Here, take the drone. Take the wine. <laughs> Leave me the hell alone. Here's your knife. Here, here you go. <laughs> Will this one work? Oh, he just wants his machete back. <laughs> exactly. It'd be funny if he did a Home Alone spill right there, Trips. <laughs> I wish a paint can would come down and nail him right in the head. Oh, WC, uh, ECW hardcore match, death match. Here we go. No, David, David Arquette. Arquette. Yeah, David Arquette. Oh, so he did David Arquette. Or holy shit. Damn. The light comes on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave a light on for you. Michael, Michael will definitely leave a light on for you. That'd be a black light. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead for sure. He can't even say anything because the mask is melted. He's just walking around <laughs> stabbing shit. It's almost like it's a chore for him at this point. Yeah, he just he just does it because he's committed to it. Uh, he It's a grind at this point. But his discipline in killing is just so entrenched that he can't stop. It sounds like he's doing something else to that guy right now. Oh yeah, he's he. <laughs> the shape is going to work, Josh. What is the what is the point of this scene, honestly? Other than a kill count, why have her alive Just watching get... this happen? Why? Well, and also, this guy's dead. Michael's losing it. Like this dude is dead. He's like, ooh, that knife. No, I got to find a better knife. Let's see. Let's try this one out. Well, he's and... trying to decide what. He's trying to decide if he wants to buy the knife set in the future. Gotcha. Check the durability. Yeah. Gotcha. She's all like, it's it's a money back guarantee, Mikey. You don't have to test them all out. I like this one. That's the most terrifying thing I've seen in this movie so far. I hope Michael puts a fucking knife through that dummy's head. That that dummy actually looks like uh, that really popular ventriloquist guy. That looks like his dummy. The old man dummy. I don't know who you're talking about. The puppet or the guy? Which one are you talking about when you say dummy? The puppy. Well, us for watching this, but the puppet. Hey, your little puppet rodeo clown made us picked it. Yeah, I got a few choice words to say to him if we survive this night. Well, I wasn't going to say cheers, but you took the toast upon yourself. Sure, cheers, bitch. Uh, yeah, hey, listen. Michael Myers, supernatural killing machine, can transport, teleport through walls and shit. I believe that more than I believe this guy laughing at this act. Follow the Follow the music. You'll find me. Breathe in, even though we're not squeezing it. Everybody's actually walking in slow motion. <laughs> it's not slowed down. I'm, dude, Haddonfield, for like such a small town, they have a large police force. <laughs> have you noticed that? Oh, it's Freddy Krueger. What the hell? Oh, it's him. Shut up, y'all. I'm trying to eavesdrop on other people's conversations so I can rant to them when they come up here and order a drink. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Is that Creighton Duke? It It's Creighton Duke and Titus O'Neil's love child. 
He goes running away from Michael, trips and falls underneath a wrestling ring. <laughs> falls underneath the bar. Haddonfield worldwide. Aru, aru. Can't believe I'm coming in loud and clear this week. He, that dude's like, oh, hell, I hate Wayne's World and I hate Austin Powers. Shit. Bad comedy comes to Haddonfield. <clears throat> no, it's Michael Myers, not Mike Myers. Oh, okay, okay. Who wants Damn, zesty, zesty popcorn? I want salty, I buttery gonna... popcorn. <laughs> I was just going to say, not just regular popcorn, Josh. Zesty popcorn. It's not fully popcorn unless it's zestfully popcorn. <laughs> no shit? You don't think that your wife or girlfriend knows that? Thank you for filling that in for us. But even though they haven't formed a connection. We're going to make you think that anyways by showing you the picture of the guy who escaped and the murders. Because <laughs> we're, ir la, 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 la. we're, the the dots. we're irresponsible. <laughs> Damn, they had a picture of Jeffrey Dahmer on the screen. Who's interviewing that little kid? Where's his parents? Well, the babysitter's dead uh, from the previous installment. But yeah, where are his parents? Is he just doing the interview, the interview right after the murder? Shit. That I, that I keep right in the middle of my chest and not around my neck like normal people. Well, you know, it's a Halloween outfit. Halloween's over. Do you really need it tomorrow? Just He's like a nurse. That. He's a nurse and she's a doctor in real in outside of this. But they're not using their actual equipment for the costume. They're gonna know, have to sanitize right? that shit. Michael Myers is taking a nap in the back seat of the car. Mike Myers is in the car. Dana Carby's in the car behind him. What's wrong with me? Bitch. Somebody help me. My husband's a pussy. Well, thanks for the tip. No, nope, there it is. Let's take a drink every time they say dies tonight. Thanks for the do bars at this point. Do bars at this point need to have neon signs that say beer? I mean, it, it, isn't that just kind of implied? I know they should have a big sign that says zesty beer. It's kind of like McDonald's doing advertising at this point. It's like if they just stop doing commercials at this point, would people just be like, oh, wonder where McDonald's went? Does McDonald's still exist? I haven't seen a commercial in a while. It's okay, folks. He's been in the sanitarium for 40 years. No way he has a driver's license. Well, if he had a license, it definitely is up for renewal at this point. Well, he won't drive over us or go anywhere. He ain't going to do that if with no license. Come on. He's a killer, but he's not a maniac. Hold on. I'm trying to find my jam. Why are the windows so fogged up? Has Michael got a, a hot plate going in that car? Is that when he's finally eating? He's making some food in there? Oh, he yeah, he don't he don't remember how to drive from that the very first movie. Well, that was easy. Roll the credits. Shocking, so shocking. His head's through the windshield. The the Halloween music hits. He's dead. <laughs> All their weapons are Halloween props. <laughs> Weenie in the butt. <laughs> it's Weenie Al in the shape. 
Josh and Alex in the morning. Dude, you just Michael kissed Myers a bat really that, whips the llama's ass. He just he just kissed a bat that has like hit so many drunken people that are not been sanitized. Yeah, it's COVID COVID around this time too, man. He's he just endangered those lips. Look what I can do. Oh, it's not him yet. How do you know the words to this song? I hated this guy in uh, the Breaking Bad movie, El Camino. Oh, yeah. Oh, here hated we go. Him. Just... Look, what, look what I can make. There, my joke lands now. I wonder why they call him Big John and he's little... Oh. Because they both... I think they're in a romantic relationship, Josh, and they're, oh, they use each other's shapes on each other. Doing my annual ritual of really cringefully singing this song to no one. Oh my god, Spooky Records, Alex. Spooky Records. 20 CDs with 15 songs. Call now. That would be hilarious if while she's telling this story and she's real nervous and scared, she still took the candy. <laughs> that would have been great. We killed the wrong kid. Did you hear what he said? He said, Big John, come quick. And Big oh. John's like, I'm confused. You never tell me to come quick. <laughs> Make the girl go in there. Kid, we'll save your friend if you go check that out. Yeah, well, that's that's breaking and entering uh, for candy. And that's a freaking Halloween 3 reference right there, by the way. Season 3. Or Halloween 3, season of the gratuitous throwback. Too young to know that reference. No, I heard of Michael Myers. Is that his middle name? That's kind of interesting. Man, Little John, you resemble the, that guy from Carnosaur 2 and 3. Yeah, that's all he, he resembled. That's the only resemblance to anything is those two movies. Like, I, I've seen you from somewhere before. It's definitely Carnosaur 2 and 3. They tell the kid in the costume, come here, we got a commercial we want to show you, fuckwad. <laughs> yeah. Why are they perverts for? Oh, because little John and big John wear that exact same skeleton mask in bed together. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Whenever he's throwing him a bone. <laughs> Time for you to get your shape, Big John. How Whenever he kills on life support. Whenever he's cl whenever little John is close to climax with Big John, the Halloween theme song it starts speeding up. Like the part two version. Mm -hmm. Like John Carpenter is just wailing on Little John's nuts, but it's a piano. Hey, is this Halloween 3 Part 2? Or Halloween 2 Part 3? This is like, Halloween 2 Part 3. Definitely. Yeah, because there was the Halloween two, 2, and then Halloween 2. But well, mm -hmm. wait, this is actually Halloween 3, because Halloween 78 is Part 1 to this. And 28 2 is Part 2. 2018 is Part this 2. Is Oh this my is part God. three. You have confused the shit out of me right there. <laughs> Whoa, how'd we get here? I swear we were standing in front of a window a second ago. What the fuck just happened? And how'd I get this jacket? And why is she in a pediatric ward? Like, why is she in the children's uh, area of the hospital? 
There's some like sick kid laying there like, I'm sick and now I'm scared too. She's she's like telling this terribly graphic tale of murder on Halloween night while the kid is sitting on the butcher paper, uh, you know, thing, and he's oh, waiting to have his ear egg checked out. I know why they went to the pediatric wing so Creighton Duke can have a little girl take a hot dog and stick it through a donut. Oh my god, we just got canceled. <laughs> Watch Jason. I'll go take to a hell. couple Voorhees burgers. Side of Jason Fingers and a shitty sequel, please. Oh, there's the first time they explain why Michael came after Lori, uh, even though they're not siblings. And we're gonna hear that like at least two or three more times. <laughs> it's 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 them, it's Danny McBride and them like talking to people like me. Like, see, there is a reason he came back without them being siblings, asshole. Why why is she wearing a Christmas sweater? Because it's Halloween, man. Or Halloween's over, and as soon as Halloween's over, Christmas stuff goes out, remember? Yeah, but Halloween isn't even like officially over yet in this universe. It's oh, when still somebody's, when Michael Myers shows up and kills somebody, it's over. Batman, Superman, and Aquaman. One <laughs> woman staying behind. I'm the Flash, so I'm part of the Justice League. Wait a minute. So the Flash, Superman, Batman, Robin, uh, the Harlem Globetrotters, Velma, Scooby Doo, <laughs> the whole, the whole Scooby, the whole. Oh wait, Scooby Doo was gang. Scooby Doo was the dead dog earlier. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought he wasn't stalking your mom. I thought the whole point was he was coming home. Them not being siblings just ruins it for me. The first movie literally showed a baby and everything. So it's like, what? So that's what ruined it for you. Not not um not the rest of the film. That's 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 what ruined this for you. Well, the fact that Danny McBride, one of the most annoying like Seth Rogen uh friend actors, wrote the movies, that kind of ruins it for me. The guy from Eastbound and Down wrote these movies. <clears throat> You know what sucks about being a fucking multimillionaire baseball all-star athlete with a goddamn rocket for an arm? Not a damn thing. I'm going to go write me some Michael Myers films now. <laughs> uh, in the This is the end where he's out on the streets and he has Chan Channing Tatum fucking G.I. Joe on a leash as his dog, his little sex slave dog. That's hilarious. I know. And in that, when I saw that, I was like, you know what would be great for him? It'd be great if that guy with Channing Tatum as his sex slave would totally fuck up the Halloween movies. I, I it, it would it's a genius idea. I'm calling Hollywood right now. Bloomhouse is like greenlit, make a trilogy, make it happen as soon as possible. Are we gonna have Jamie Lee Curtis in this movie? Yeah, but she's gonna just be passed out for half of it. At least she hasn't kissed Michael Myers in this film yet. Whoa, what are you doing? Give the cops the murder weapon. Oh, she's leaving it for the knife fairy. Yeah, if she puts that butcher knife under her pillow, Michael Myers will show up and gut her. She goes to kiss her and she's like, oh God, too much activity. Oh, grandma. Ugh. We need we need it we need a pan. I saw you walking up to the car beautiful... and you didn't have to bang on my hood, asshole. That is a beautiful Ford Escort. Where did you when did you talk to a cop you just pulled in? Wait, three of his friends were killed in there? You need to be more specific, bro. Is it zesty? Or sassy. The bigger gun is zesty. The other one is just not original flavor. Okay. Oh, by the way, Dad, the Flash says hello. It's not me. I promise.
How would you have guessed that? Wait, wait, wait. How would you say I should have guessed that? If you look at somebody, that couple, would the first thought be, ah, they're doing a switcheroo? I don't know. Uh, the, we should get a hold of Dan McBride and ask him. You can air your grievances with the oh, man. Oh, God, no, no. I accept it. I accept it. It's funny. I, I get it. Makes perfect sense. No need. No need. Even if you told me Danny McBride's going to spring me from the dungeon, I'd say, no, thank you. Why is everybody listening to Tommy Doyle? They're like, hey, this guy with this really shitty Ford Escort's telling everybody what to do in town. Why would they listen to him? If somebody drove by my house yelling as they drove by, most likely I'd be like, wait, what did they say? What? Did anybody hear that? And where where are the 37 other police officers that were just walking around the crime scenes? Why aren't they leading the mob? They know better. Oh, that that'll work. That was that was very not vague at all. Nobody drive around with your eyes closed. Got it, Alex? Keep your eyes open. Don't close them tonight. Yes, sir. <laughs> they all alone. That's kind of creepy. Let's get them in the back seat. Well, they can't bribe them with candy. They already robbed Little John and Big John's house of all their candy. They don't need, they, they're wanting for no candy. That will not get them in the car. Are they all alone? Yes, they are. Good. That makes it easier. You've shot that particular gun before? Okay. Let's let's get in the car together and relive some trauma. I'm going to roll the window up. Then I, the way Malcolm will get me then. It's Danny McBride. <laughs> he, it's, he wants to ca cast them in his new new Halloween movie. It's Jason Voorhees. <laughs> oh, I don't think your friend's coming. He he watched the commercial. Yeah, that's that. Michael didn't kill him. The corporation killed him. Michael's like, oh my god, you got to see all these crickets and spiders that came out of this mask, dude. Oh my god, it's Captain Kirk. I thought you shot that shit before. Shoot it. All righty then. Shot the mask. Oh, oh, more gratuitous throwback. Yeah, there was the witch mask and the and the freaking pumpkin. Good call. Who let the old lady be in charge of the only firearm in the car she's all like actually i'm not accidentally pointing at you guys i'm from the old days michael's like oh my god they're screaming my ears i'm done he's part native american Michael Myers went as a barber for Halloween this year. Don't ever buy tickets from him. He's a real scalper. <laughs> Michael's like, well, that's a weird thing to get revenge. How's that revenge? Okay. Michael's a ticket scalper. Michael's a ticket scalper, and he just envisions all these people work for Ticketmaster. <laughs> right now, he's like, I picked the right night. That's a, that's fluid. Wait a minute. Is that is was he trying to strangle him with the stethoscope? Yep. Yep. Okay. That's why he got went back and got the stethoscope just for that scene. Is that bitch shooting at me? <laughs> He's counting the bullets. My at this point, Michael's gotta be thinking. Everybody in this damn town is the worst shot ever. 
there's no way that not one of those wouldn't have hit him. She was shooting directly at him in the automobile. That's ridiculous. He looks down, there's like 10 holes in him. Well, shit. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't matter, would it? Even if, if he I, got hit, it wouldn't matter. If I see one more Michael Myers, like, curious dog head cock, I'm going to puke. Oh, there it Michael is. Wouldn't, hey, Michael wouldn't stand a chance against this gal because she's on The Real Housewives, and I've seen some of the fights they get on, uh, get into on Bravo. She'd be able to handle her business, no problem, against this guy. They're throwing food at each other in fucking fancy hotels, fancy restaurants, and Bel Air. Come on. She would kick his ass. My only weakness, a runner. My only weakness, cardio. He's a hell of a speedwalker, though. He's breathing pretty hard. He is like 70. Well, and have you ever tried to, to walk or run in a mask? You're just breathing your own expelled air. Ugh. 52 minutes in, Plus, 52 minutes to go. <laughs> yeah, well, oh my God. Plus he's carrying the weight of this fucking flimsy ass script on his shoulders. Flimsy ass <clears throat> trilogy. Actually, I don't know. I Halloween ends like the might be one. good. I enjoyed the the first one of this, and I liked Halloween Ends. This movie, on the other hand, is terrible. Well, it's going to be fun hearing you shit on Halloween Ends one day. <laughs> it grew on me. I, I the first time I watched it, I was so confused. I've never seen it. Master Evil won't allow me to until he makes us riff it. Master Evil's a dick. I hope he's having a shitty Halloween. She holds <laughs> her breath so long she dies. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, princess. <laughs> I'm Master Evil. I hate you guys. Watch this shitty movie. <laughs> princess. She's like, I had a C-section. I gave birth to a hand. It's Mae Young. <laughs> Geeked out on pain meds. That's how people talk. Well, other than the fact that dad's dead. Well, how? Hold on. Who had time while all this is going on in town? Who had time to go down and get a goddamn Hallmark card and deliver it to her? This is all the same night. <laughs> Who the fuck the gift had shop. time to go to Rite Aid and get that card? And the gift shop would be closed at this point. This is ridiculous. Danny McBride, send him a letter. Mom, quit pooping your pants, please. This giant hospital's all full up, so we're going to put this other guy that's near death in here with you, okay? It's not, it's not to make it more convenient for the plot. Let's flash this flashlight outside of our car so we're easier we're 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 easier to see for Michael. The little rock shaman. I've met him here in Arkansas before, actually. Dude. So you okay, Michael Myers is a a, a killing machine, a great white, the great white shark of Haddonfield. He is not the most dangerous person in town tonight. It's fucking Lonnie driving these kids around. He's been drinking all night long, Josh. He's, he's going to kill these kids. And he's doing that TV driving where his hands are going back and forth the whole time on the wheel. God, he's worse than my brother. My brother watches fucking YouTube videos on the, on the center console of his truck when he's driving on the freeway. Anthony Michael Hall's like, I sent a letter to Michael telling him I'm going to one place, and boom, I popped up at this place. Perfect. <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall is like, I was told this was going to be a John Hughes film, and then I fucking saw Danny McBride on set. Nope, just me, Michael. Michael's on the swing set waiting for him swinging. He's like, oh shit, here they are. Uh, mask back on. Uh, he's, he's all, Wee! Trying on the other he's, three masks to see what he, 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 he feels. He's doing a teeter-totter with a dead body. 
<laughs> Tonight, evil goes. Whee! <laughs> It's like the 50th dead body you've seen tonight, Lonnie. Calm down. Doctor, Is this doctor. Michael Myers' way of saying that he disapproves of Season of the Witch? <laughs> <laughs> you spin me right round. What'd you find? Oh, she's just hanging. Either that or she just didn't want to live anymore and she wanted to always be a witch. The witch is dead. Here come we represent the lollipop guild. No, it'd be the Haddonfield guild. Dude. Flash Why didn't he kill her? Why didn't he kill her? He couldn't find her. Oh, really? <laughs> he could find everybody else in every other fucking incarnation of this franchise. She put on the only <laughs> set of plot armor that was in the car. <clears throat> She's lying right? on her side when her stomach was literally just cut completely open. Like filleted open. That's got to be killing her. She's geeked out on pain meds. Fuck. Are you awake? Are you awake? Wake up! Oh, that's, that's a load off my mind. Was he faking sleeping? I was just hoping she'd shut up so he could go back to bed. No, she ain't going to shut up. I'll just have to talk back. I remember. What do you think he means by that? He's geeked out on pain meds, Josh. He has no idea what he's saying. Ben Tramer. Oh, poor Ben Tramer. The paper boy. The annoying one. All right, time for your vial of water. They're not hooked up to IVs. Okay, that's how that works. Here you go. Here's double pain, Ms. Alex. I mean, Haddonfield at this point obviously doesn't care about the health of <laughs> their residents. The DEA, the DEA's like, wait, you gave him double pain meds? Yeah, but Michael Myers had killed some people. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah that's the that's, that's the MM it's protocol. Fine. It's good. He's like, oh, Michael, I was looking for Jason Voorhees. Shit. Well, if that is Creighton Duke, he's put some weight on Josh. <laughs> He's waiting, Duke. <laughs> waiting, Duke. <laughs> he's waiting, Duke, because he put weight on and because he's not doing shit but waiting at the hospital. <laughs> the double entendre. Wait, what did he do to her? I thought she just ran from him and hid. She's having emotional trauma. Oh, okay. Get her to a psychiatrist immediately. Oh, 
We need to tell Michael we're going one place and pop up somewhere else. Let's go. Michael thinks we're, we're at the hospital, so he's coming here. So we need to go back to the park. And as soon as we kill him, we all turn our backs on him, okay? Break. I'll they turn their back on him like like they turn their back on Freddy, but he's not a dream demon, so he just stabs him to death. The police department fails tonight. Is this movie killing you yet? Because it's not killing me yet. Oh, another it's drink. Not it's not killing, yeah, not killing me yet either, but. She should have asked for a double for herself. And as soon as I kill him, I'm going to turn around and celebrate. And then I'm going to kick that guy's ass who's trying to date my girlfriend who has the scissors for hands later on, too. <laughs> how do we, how did he escape? You literally saw the firefighters going to the house. Oh, geeked out on pain meds. I'm sorry, Alex. <laughs> She's like, Mom. I only have 60 Christmas days to shop left. We have to take care of this Michael Myers thing before I can go hit the sales. Her daughter's like, oh, I got a knife in the neck and back coming tonight. I just know it. Okay, mom. Wow. Do you not get the card I got you? Shit. This is a reenactment of when they were trying to stop Mick Foley from going back to the Hell in a Cell match. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Mick! It makes the pain go away? It's okay. Why the nurse she... said I could have a double. <laughs> yeah, hold on one second. I understand if she's trying to, like, put a pain, you know, morphine or something in her body so she doesn't feel that Im immense, you know, gash in her gut. But why did she have to jab it in so hard? <laughs> right? The needle would have just snapped, honestly. I mean, seriously, what the fuck was that? Well, whenever I jam a needle into my ass, it usually snaps. That's all I know. I know, because you have rock, just solid rock <laughs> buns of steel. Wait, when did the knife get cleaned? Oh, it's still dirty. It's not, okay, it was yeah, clean a clean. second. I swear it looked clean. Man, these guys are men men of very many talents. She wasn't a beekeeper. She just killed him and kept him in a little jar. He's like, Big John, you get drunk and tell me the story every time you get drunk. Like, I, I understand. We've been together a long time. Michael's like, but I haven't got any candy. I've been too busy killing everybody. <laughs> They're like, we don't have any candy because those kids stole all of it, but we do have a jar of honey. Big John, you stay there. Look what I can do. <laughs> I can open the door. I can open the door. Stuart. Stuart. So Michael's just knocking and then like, Woo! running around the house real fast. Can we film that scene of how he got from the front door to the back door that quick? Because now I just picture Michael Myers running as fast as he can around the house. Like, <laughs> he comes back and knocks again. <laughs> Jesus. 
just in case Michael Myers didn't have a butcher knife on hand, he has a pitchfork available. <laughs> yes. Why does Michael Myers even have to, like, play this game at this point? Why doesn't he just, like, knock and then they open the door he just kills them immediately? Like, why does he even have to have any stealth at this point? And why do you have to knock the trash can over? He's a dick. If he cocks his head to the side after killing one of them, I'm walking out. You wish. Yes, little John. Medium John's come home. And it's not us. It's Danny McBride. Oh, fuck. Let me take off my pinky ring. I got this shit. Pinky ring would have gotten in the way. I took on Jesse Pinkman. I'm going to take on this guy. Pinkman's like... Cheese knife. Pinkman's like 5'5", five five and he killed him. Uh, I think Michael Myers is going to have no problem. And Michael's like, and I got this knife. <laughs> <laughs> So, Little John has the big knife, Big John has the little knife, and it's funny. And Michael Myers has the Rambo knife. I'm sorry, I can't hear. I'm trying to I'm trying to work up a crowd here. Wait, it just got really quiet all of a sudden. I can hear you now. Everybody's whispering all of a sudden and muffled. They're all waiting around for the rest of the plot to be finished. The script is being written as they film. Danny DeVito's like, help me, let me in. It's Oswald Cobblepot. It looks like Danny DeVito and Sam Kinison had a child together. <laughs> Sam Kinison. It's fucking Michael Myers! <laughs> it's Evil always... dies tonight! Oh, gotta take a drink. It's Michael, he's... Just like three foot shorter, but it's him. What are you drinking over in your cell? Tea. <laughs> this is tea. <laughs> it's sterile. Hard tea. Take another drink. Take another oh. drink. Oh, shit. Another. Oh, no. Another. <laughs> another. <laughs> and another. We're dead. <laughs> Well, I used to watch this movie and make fun of jokes at it. Because <laughs> Devil Ice to Bryce. I need to save Josh's life. We need to somehow mute his sound so he doesn't have to keep drinking or he'll die tonight. Evil oh, will oh, die I, tonight. I got to do it again. Okay. There's a little John, big John, super size John. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I want a number three, uh, little John. Uh, but I want my drink to be a big John. <laughs> and uh, no cheese. Uh, Halloween three mask and uh, Frosty, please. Oh, and don't forget to throw in the uh, evil dies tonight. Thank you. <laughs> don't forget to throw in the evil dies tonight sauce for your nuggies. <laughs> mm, the honey mustard, uh, bourbon, uh, barbecue, and a side of evil dies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it home. <laughs> little John up there in the room, or Big John up in the room, there's like, oh shit, the window. Oh, she's changing over there again. Come here. Oh, wait, you're not interested. <laughs> Damn, in the armpit? Yeah, it makes the fart noise as he stabs him. <laughs> Damn. What's going on? I don't know. Don't cock your head. Please don't cock your head. Oh, thank you. Michael! Stuart! 
Oh, not in the armpit. That'd be your first reaction is to, you see your partner just gruesomely murdered. And instead of looking around for who did it. Michael, welcome home. No shit, Captain Obvious. Wait, what what is he doing? He was screaming before he got to him. That was you know, like Michael a death scream. Michael didn't even have the courtesy to like, you know, like when you move away from a house, sometimes you knock on the new the new owner's house. And you say, oh, I used to live here. You know, can I come take a look? You know, I got a lot of memories. Michael didn't even ask them. He's a dick. <laughs> he just went right in. And we didn't see Michael McDonald get killed again, just like when the raptor jumped in the police car in part three of Carnosaur. He just always dies off screen. Yeah, that's part of his deal. He he refuses to die on screen so he could possibly come back for a sequel. Somebody just need her in the stitches where she was like stapled back shut. She dead. They pierced the plot armor on that one. I'm sorry. Danny DeVito just ran off in the background. Danny Kendison. We got it, Creighton. He doesn't even look like he wants to be in the movie. No, and he, if he's the sheriff, that means he got elected. Uh, he's not doing shit while all this is going on. He's not going to have any of these guys' votes if the he doesn't start doing something. Yeah, I mean, the actor himself looks like he's like, eh. Oh, I can't imagine that. Can't imagine it. Well, wait, yeah, I can. I just watched it. They're posing that kid on the on the mor mortuary slab in all kinds of sexy ways. She'll be okay. Just get her another needle. She can jam in her ass. Yeah, she didn't. She just shoot herself up with morphine. Like, isn't like even though she got kicked in the gigantic stomach wound, I don't think she would even feel that. She said, "I'm gonna go get the nurse so you can get hooked <clears throat> up again." She wasn't hooked up to begin with. She was, was freely it moving around. Was it necessary for the doctor to shove the lady down to the ground? It's a little short, chubby guy. Yeah, Michael, I know. I'm telling you, Danny DeVito and Sam Kennison. <laughs> Wait, she's already out of bed again? Yeah, she's fine. They actually had to cut a few scenes out of this film because it's an hour and 50 fucking minutes long. We missed. They did the jamming in the ass off screen for this one. If we were watching this movie in the old days, they would have an intermission where we could go have a break to go to the bathroom and refill our popcorn. And I was a horrible shot. And Sam Loomis was always doing the same thing in my memory because that's all the footage we could use. Why didn't Michael just kill everybody if he was unstoppable? Yeah, exactly. And he's way younger back then with way less damage. How did he not just destroy those cops right there? Come on. You're going to tell me that was practical? Yes. No, not practical effects. Practical stopping him from shooting him. That wasn't very practical. The the guy's like, the only person who shoots anybody around here is me shooting innocent co My partners. That was the fourth <laughs> partner, partner this month. <laughs> <laughs> the only person allowed to shoot anybody around here is me. And they better be innocent. You were doing your, you were doing your job, killing partners. And you listen, you killed partners, and you were damn good at it, the best. Because I'm getting paid the most. Because I am the star of this franchise, I have to be the one to kill him. I don't even want to know if she survives. And I just got to see it.
Nope, oh, looks like Michael's foot. Michael's like, oh shit. Whew, I thought I was Michael Myers. Oh. In case you were curious what she just took to get upstairs, there's a sign that says stairway behind her. <laughs> it's always Kennison in Philadelphia. But I'll hurt you. I'll take you Christmas shopping. Black Friday deals. I'm going to make you watch this movie. <laughs> he, he turns around. <laughs> he goes back. His hand moves away after she says that. My husband just died, by the way. Come here. Yeah, I'm single. I'm also a Ghostbuster. By the way, you have really good taste in music, crazy dude. That doctor, jam. I swear I just heard someone going. <laughs> does she does she think that's Michael? Yes. No, she knows it's not. Everybody else does. The damn media, man. Irresponsible. Where are the other 40 inmates uh, from the Mental Health Institute that escaped on the bus? He ate them. So Michael, my, oh, he, DeVito, Kinnison ate them. Yep. I was going to say, so Michael Myers eats inmates and dogs. Sheriff Breaker back there, whatever, he's like, I can't man, be a part of this, my God damn sugar diabetes. Man, that cat is pissed. I'm going to put out a fire. Oh. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Get to drinking, pal. Mm-hmm. If I was in this town, I'd be like, oh my god, why does everything keep going into slow motion? Did I miss a did I miss a choreograph practice? That's how Michael is able to kill people so easily, because in Haddonfield, you immediately start going slow-mo at times. Just randomly. I believe I can fly. I believe evil can die. Tonight. This isn't real. He would not die from this. You want to know why? There, there'd be so much wind resistant from his nose hairs <laughs> that he would have just floated down like Mario with a leaf or a feather. Evil no died tonight. Wait, how do the people know it's not Michael? Well, also, he he was going down face first, right? So how was he backwards now? I guess he bounced, buddy. It's it's Danny McBride physics. And I got sugar diabetes. Because he's like two foot shorter and three foot wider. I don't know. Because if, if it was Michael, you damn fool, he would have got up and started killing us. And the credits would be rolling right now. Creighton Duke is like upset. I, I knew I went to the wrong town. That actor just is done. He just doesn't even want to be in this movie. He has to fulfill his contractual obligation to Danny McBride and Miramax at this point. He's just going through the motions. Senioritis, big time. Oh, oh. God. Hatt Haddonfield, 78. Th dude, how do you know they didn't tell us? I know. You shot him. Oh, I mean, he shot himself. Somebody comes running up, be like, oh my God, a stunt went wrong. 
Wait, do you mean, yes, Knievel died tonight? So cops have been uh, corrupt since 1978, apparently. Cover-ups, huh? Why does that guy look like a young Joe Bob Briggs? Oh, here comes another explanation. See, that's an explanation. <laughs> so Lori Strode is a is the covert narcissist then. Everything's yep. about her then, huh? Danny McBride got mad because after the first one, because everybody's like, the sibling thing, it don't make sense that he's going after her now. So he like had three different scenes in this movie where they explain that he's not after Lori. I didn't shoot him or anything. Yeah, my, Michael Michael did it. I, I didn't do it. But, uh, you know, don't look into that at all. Who knows what makes him kill, what makes his sequels just disappear into the ether? All I know for sure is that tonight, evil dies. Oh, God damn it. I think Listen. I got alcohol poison. <laughs> All right, this is what you're going to do, Flash. We're going to, you're going to go that way, right? We're going to tell then, Michael you went the other way. <laughs> yeah, and then we're going to pop up the other way. <clears throat> and you're going to grab Nicolas Cage as Superman and bring him back here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's in the movie. I forgot. Yeah, she's got about 12 solid minutes of screen time in this film. I'm sorry I killed the wrong guy. Well, he's he was in an insane asylum prison thing. He probably did kill some people. It, it might be a bad time right now, but I, I've always kind of had a thing for you. I, would you like to go out with me? I know your husband just died. He has not aged well. <laughs> if I'm going to go down, Alex, I'm going to go down after I think I killed Michael. I'm going to turn my back on him and celebrate with the town while we don't look at him and he gets up and kills us all, okay? That's how I'm going down. Oh, this is this is super stealthy. Michael will never see this car coming. Their lights are off. Well, he thought they went the other way. I mean, yeah, he... <laughs> he at this point, he doesn't even know they're there because he did think they were going the other way. Good point. No, the key is we hope that he thinks we went somewhere else. Oh, man, Lonnie's starting to freak out. It's been a couple hours since he's had a brewski. He's sobering up and I'll realizing get... what's going on. He just needs to play the Evil Dies Tonight game. The only thing that's killing uh, these people in the car right now is Lonnie's zesty popcorn and freaking beer breath. Oh God! I bet it's I bet it smells like pickles too, like like rotten eggs and pickles, poppers. Uh, pi yeah, pickles at the bar, a Bahama Mama maybe. What if I told you there's only twenty minutes left? What weapon does? Oh, yeah, does he have a gun? Yes, but he's probably going to miss okay. every time he fires it. Michael, are you there? Little are John? There, Michael? Big John? Middle John? Extra large John? Big John, big dead John. I'd like to uh, spread the good word that evil dies tonight. Oh, God. Have you accepted Michael Myers as your Lord and Savior? The witch, the shape, 
and the Michael Myers is the Holy Trinity. <laughs> the brother, the goalie, and the dreamer. That's the unholy trinity. Yeah, well, things are probably going well for my father in there. I mean, he went in two seconds ago and the gun already went off. So he either just killed his partner or missed Michael Myers entirely. He didn't bring a cell phone. They didn't have a signal. They didn't have like a safe word, nothing. Lonnie's drunk ass on zesty popcorn and Bahama Mamas just goes into the Myers house by himself. Fucks everything up. Allison, Danny McBride's on a break. I think we can leave the production. Let's get the hell out of here. They're clearing the house better than the cops did. They sure are. are did, were y'all running or something? Why are you out of breath? This town is out of shape, man. What the? <sighs> we got it. We were here to kill a pumpkin, right? I'm Mission like really stupid. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Let's get out of here. When I killed my sister and took her tombstone to my house. Lori ran from me and hid in the closet. And Loomis was obsessed with me. Did Michael kill again? <laughs> Did he kill again? Abel has come home. So Michael posed them like this. Yes. And then mm -hmm. cocked his head sideways. Hmm. Oh, he, he kept them together. That's sweet. It's awful nice of him. It's very thoughtful. So it's out of character for him, to be honest with you. Maybe he's Maybe he's gay, too. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's why he's killing everybody. He has repressed homosexual feelings and he doesn't know how to deal with them. He's got these big feelings and he doesn't want to tell his family. So it's like coming out in all these murders. You know what he's, I mean? The energy. I just realized how big. Of a, oh, yeah, you're right. Completely. I just realized how big of a dick he is, though. He he stabbed little John in the heart by killing his big John in front of him and then literally stabbed him in the heart afterwards. Well, oh, Haddon Michael's coming out of the closet. Sorry. It, it's about time. Uh, Haddonfield is in Illinois, right? Is that where it is? Yes. Okay, so that's like the the Bible Belt, right? The Midwest? <laughs> so, yeah, it, that explains everything. End of the movie, end of the franchise. He comes out and he, and he gets a normal job at like a hardware store and he's just a normal dude at this point. Oh, it's official. Happy. It's official. He came out of the closet, guys. No, it looks like he's still trying to fight <laughs> fight his tendencies. You go, lady. Damn. He's like about to kiss her. I know. He's like, this hurts, I'm, but I'm kind of impressed. I'm kind of hot. <laughs> you broke my leg, man. That's an illegal move. Allison, I just pulled the knife out of my stomach. Should I have done that? No? Yeah, oh, bad fuck. move, man. Let me give you a hand. Dude, the Flash has lost a step or two. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slow AF. He does look like that guy. I can't think of his name right now. He's That guy who plays the Flash is canceled anyway. Who gives a fuck? Oh, okay. Hold on. I Let's... will. Let me finish off your boyfriend first. Though. <laughs> He's like, I got to kill him, take my Geritol, and then I'll be down there. Michael gets in one of those little wheelchairs that come down the stairs, you know, electronic wheelchair. Yeah. He's... <laughs> it's all. <laughs> I mean, we got to remember, he is like 75 years old at this point. 
Yeah, but he's one tough seventy-five year old man. You got to be honest about it. Okay. No, his head's facing the wrong way. Hold on. Okay, all better. No, I'm a chiropractor. I took a class in prison. Well, hey, now you can get a new boyfriend. You're not you're not held down. Yeah, it's better to be single in high school anyway, you know? Play the field, you know, not tied down, you know? Well, there's something and strange. There, dude, there's the pitchfork that they foreshadowed earlier. Remember when I made a comment? It was kind of like in part five. He got curb stomped. God damn. Don't stop. You're fucking stomping his head. Yeah, nobody ever just follows through in this town. I would overkill his ass. If, I mean, if he was this powerful at this point, you would just stomp the shit out of him at this point. <laughs> Takes the mask off. Oh, my God, it's Donald Trump. Okay, grab your daughter. Don't just leave her in there. Oh, we saw him. It kind of looked like Simon from Walking Dead, but old. <laughs> oh, I will, bitch. You just wait. We got to set up the next sequel. A car runs over. <laughs> He's like, bitch, I don't need a recap. I was there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm fully aware of why I do what I do. <laughs> Oh, he's got dementia. Never mind. <laughs> they straight up showed his face. You saw that, right? Mm -hmm. There it you is. You see it right there. That ruins it for me. That takes it takes me completely out of it. I thought without the mask on, he would be like not wanting to kill. Okay, not only did they take his mask off, but it looks like they took 50 pounds off of him in the process. Are you seeing this? Slashaholics. It, it is slimming. Slashaholics, he has lost 50 pounds since he lost the mask. The stunt man was replaced with the original actor guy, and they didn't even pat him out. How much you want to bet he puts weight on now? <laughs> well, they they lured him. See, they she she made him think they were going one way, and then she went another. You know, you know what Michael's saying right now? He's like, wait, I thought they were on the other side of town. Yeah, he's like, fuck, they got me. Directions, my only weakness. God damn it. Why did I trust him? Michael's like, okay. Hockey stick, it. lead pipe, handgun, two by four. Don't let him put the mask on, people. What are you doing? I know this is supposed to be like badass and like get you pumped, but it's just silly. And now he's going to put on weight. I guarantee it. He's like, hold on. I got to get the stuntman back in the costume. Got some seriously oh. good weapons here to take him a shovel. What he's else bulked, we got? He bulked up a little bit, guys. He's not as skinny as he was a minute ago, see? Wow, they didn't even try to make him look as skinny as he did a second ago. Okay, he's dead. Movie's over. He's dead. He is <laughs> dead. It. He's dead. That's it. Game over. Movie's over. Franchise is over. Roll the fucking music. It's done. The lady with the iron should finish him off, Josh. Right. Somebody comes <laughs> She's in with a like, rolling pin. <laughs> no, she did. She she stands over him, and you just hear. Sss. <laughs> She's like just fucking ironing him to death. They would have no credits roll. The music blares. The end. Should we sh should we cut his head off? Dismember him real quick, folks. Nah, nah, he's dead. He's saying peace. Peace. Oh, here's your knife. He just wants his knife back. Credits roll. Done. 
It's the end of the movie, man. Merry fucking Christmas, Mike. And Lori Strode had nothing to do with any of it. She's just... I remember when they said she filmed for like one day. I was like, oh, she's dying for sure. Oh, for this film? Yeah. All right, guys. Good job killing him and tying up the body and dismembering him. Oh, wait, you just left him in the street and nobody's watching him? Oh, okay. We're good. I'm sure everything will be fine. Here comes uh, the sheriff. Or... Should, I, should I use this gun to shoot him in the head? So does Michael know the conversation that Lori and him are having, you know, at this exact moment? If we only knew then what we know now, that they already agreed to do a third movie. Well, hey, he's going to have to kill that cat eight more times because, you know, cats have nine lives, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> meow, meow. Well, surely, meow, Mike. surely they can't, they won't kill Anthony Michael Hall, though, right? No way, dude. And hey, did you did you ever think there was going to be a cat woman and a uh, penguin in this movie? <laughs> Well, the Flash is there. Man, this movie is brought to you by DC. Dead cinema. <laughs> Desperately cliche. <laughs> so Lori is monologuing her her own family member's deaths right now. Is she aware of this? I'm your Huckleberry. Wait. Oh. Bye, Tommy. Kisses him. Wait, were you not... Did, did I read you wrong there, Tommy? I'm sorry. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah, Michael's got to learn how to read the room better. Is Tommy dead? Or just stabbed? Does he pop up in the third one? Well, I'm not going to tell you. And then also, uh, odds aren't very good, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. Batter up. Okay, I'm guessing no. <laughs> Maybe Tommy had some like skeletons in his closet that we don't know about, you know, off camera. And, and evil, in fact, did die tonight because like they Haddonfield police like pulls up his web browser history or something, you know. That's evil possible. dies tonight, you know. Yeah, I, I think that. Oh shit! Hold on, two of them. So it did die tonight. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Ah. Uh. Too much, too much drink. I gotta pay. I must have had me about sixteen of them Dr. Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. Why did they just leave him? Well, they had a gun. Stand back twenty feet and just do a firing thing. Everybody. Oh, just unload a clip into his fucking brain. Well, it's a good thing Michael's for sure dead. One of the worst twist endings ever. Like, it's so stupid. It doesn't... Like, he's supernatural at this point. It makes no sense. No it sense makes totally, whatsoever. It, he's supernatural. He's just out in the open. This is like when Freddy shows up at the pool party. It makes no sense. I get it now. He looks in the window and sees his reflection. Oh, wait. And they real explained that already, didn't they? He looks in the reflection and just realizes he's having positive self-affirmation right now. I am the fucking man. We did it. Wait, it didn't work. We're still here. Shit. Great. Oh, well, the credits aren't over yet. Maybe this will take us out. Well. Attila the Hun. That explains evil, it. Evil didn't die tonight and neither did we, Josh. Ah, oh, fuck. We lied on the thumbnail that we haven't made yet. What thumbnail? What are you talking about? I know, I know. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis, don't get top billing. She was there for a day. She never left the hospital. Let's see where Michael McDonald places. Like halfway down. No, yeah, he's like nine or ten right there. Oh, poor Beth Felice. I wonder if it says lady with iron. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> 1978 trick-or-treaters. Jessica Arden Napier, Jack Napier's daughter, the Joker. Bob Odenkirk yeah. was Bob? I didn't see Bob Odenkirk. 
What? Yeah, I did. You know what? I I did know that. I remember that being a, a thing when it, this movie came out. Who's Bob? So... <laughs> hey, and we made a Jesse Pinkman uh, joke. Yeah, we sure did. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's full circle. Well, hey, they had like one uh, Lee Donaldson uh, is the key grip. You think he was related to, uh, oh shit, I can't remember his name. Who's the special effects coordinator? That would be Heath Hodd. <laughs> <laughs> what does an ager do? April J. Brown Traquina. Vincent Van Dyke effects. Prosthetics a, created by. What does a maid maker do? Stephen Imhoff, does he like make maids? Like, I don't does he does he help him join the mafia? Mm-mm. No. Um it's way above our pay grade, Josh. Uh, I've always wanted to be an Azure slash Dyer, though. I've always wanted to have a YouTube show where I watch shitty horror movies, but it's probably never going to happen. What the hell is this music? This is like the most inappropriate music for this movie that we just watched. What the fuck is this? Evil it's like, guys tonight. It's uplifting. It's like this would be Michael Myers theme music if he was a wrestler. This is like Dream Warriors, but for Michael Myers. <laughs> he's a normal man, yet he's a senior <laughs> citizen that can be shot ten times and beat with a bat, but he still comes back and he's not supernatural at all. Padden Fields got some hard times, baby. Here comes Michael Myers. There's some rich baloney, man. Look at that. Woo, that's some rich, zesty rich baloney. Zesty supervising sound editor, PK Hodker. Michael Myers can't be killed, but Danny McBride says he's definitely not supernatural. Karaoke video consultant, Aaron Rodgers? Fucking New York Jets quarterback? Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. For Bloomhouse. Did Bloomhouse pass away? Oh, we lost Bloomhouse. See, the movie was dedicated to him. Damn it. Says in memory of Josh and Alex <laughs> slash Drax. <laughs> oh, Miramax passed away too for, Mim for Miramax. And Trancus International Films. God, I bet there was a massacre. Footage from Halloween 78 and 78. What? <laughs> No, copyright 78, and then oh, okay. Halloween 2 footage 81, footage from Mini and something 71. Shaving cream, Jewel in the Mud, that's what this movie was, right? It's Halloween, stop, look, don't watch, Hunter's Moon, I can't even, yeah. In case you want the soundtrack, Slashaholic, Sacred Bones Records. Keep the pet, it's dead anyways. Filmed in North Carolina. Okay, here's all 20 production companies. <laughs> Dude, we got to get back. You, you're going to have to have a talk with that clown of yours. This is just ridiculous. Oh, looking forward to it. Look, just looking forward to it. Highlight of my life. This movie is fictional. There's no way he would have came back like that. And uh, evil dies tonight. Drink up, bitch. Okay, first off, I had to take too many drinks because they kept saying, Evil dies tonight. Not cool, Sister Evil. You said you would finish us off, you know. And I think if Rodeo Clown had actually stuck to what he agreed to to give us a shitty one, he would have finished us off, man. You need to talk to that clown. Oh, yeah, clown. Oh, way to live up to your record. Time, man, you got to let him talk to you, clown. This is what he does. He's. No, he's always over talking over me. He's doing stuff he's not supposed to be doing. He's living up to his reputation of being just an absolute fuck up and just ruining everything for me. I should no be karaoke. dead right now. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Guys, we know it's a little late, but this is a Halloween special. 
This is Josh. Happy Halloween, everybody. Thank you so much for watching Slash Tracks all this time. This is actually the next to final episode of Season 3. The, Hallow the Halloween, week after Halloween special. Um, yeah, so Alex, you got anything to say to our, our lovely Slashaholics out there? Just thanks to everybody for watching the show and the shows and, and subscribing and, and enjoying this two week after Halloween special. <laughs> because as the thumbnail says, Josh, we're just guessing at this point. We have no idea if this is Halloween or not. We have no calendar, man. We're in no. dungeons. I mean, look behind us. That is a legit dungeon. Mm -hmm. You know, and the, the clown, the clown won't even come out of the barrel. You're funny. But my my son Anthony, who plays the clown, wants to tell everybody Happy Halloween. I just want to play my clown. Happy Halloween. And then Sister Evil, which is actually my daughter, has she got something to, to say? I just want to play the saxophone. Oh, okay. Well, you go. Okay. She she actually really is Sister Evil, by the way. That's not a character. That's she's, just who she is. She's yeah, very messy. Sure. Yeah, she's like Heath Ledger yeah, in the fucking method. Dark Knight. <laughs> She just totally method. Yeah. Oh man, I got it. Before we go, I got to talk about this Halloween Kills, man. Worst Halloween movie I think I've ever seen in my life. Makes no sense. I think it might be the worst, but I, th I think that the Rob Zombie sequel is also right up there with it. See, you're talking to a guy like you said you like Halloween Ends, which I haven't yeah. seen yet, so I have no judgment. I might end up liking it. I'm sure season four is gonna it's gonna be in season four, but I love Hall uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween and Rob Zombie's Halloween too, because I I kind of differentiate it from the Halloween movies, the original, mm -hmm. and it actually follows what Rob was trying to go for in the first movie. It, it he gets it's like the first movie he kept it to what the studio he, like he did all the studio demands but still kind of kept his vision there and in the sequel he just fully let his vision out and i appreciate that he did that you know i respect him for doing his vision and not just trying to make all the halloween fans from the originals happy and making it actually different when you and, said he let his vision out it, it made me think he whipped his shape out <laughs> He whipped his white horse out. Yeah. That was the only thing that weirded me out about the sequel was was the, the mom and the white horse. Like, I don't get it. I don't get Rob, it. <laughs> Rob Zombie fully whipped his shape out for the sequel and just dominated that sequel, that film. I'll tell you what. Since Halloween Ends is going to get riffed eventually, and you like that one, how about Halloween 2 by Rob Zombie gets riffed as well since I like that one? Done. No Fair whammies. Deals. No whammies. Halloween 2, Rob Zombie. Halloween 2. Halloween Ends. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, Halloween Kills, though, he was dead. He was dead. He is dead. There's no, he's supernatural at this point. They just jumped the shark. Fawns literally just jumped the shark at that point. This is, the franchise is over. Done deal. And I want to know who Bob Odenkirk was in it. So somebody, get me a, a link to a picture or something. I didn't see Bob Odenkirk. But it said he was in the movie. So yeah. I'm curious about that one. Like That's Tom Cruise in Young Guns. When he, Tom Cruise was in Young Guns, he's in the gunfight at the end of the movie. He's like shot randomly, but you'd never know it was him if you didn't know it was him. Kind of like, um, I didn't know it was him at first in Tropic Thunder. Oh my God. Like, he's, I hate Tom Cruise, and I thought he did amazing in Tropic Thunder. He was great. In he that was, film. man. Yeah, he was great. We, Stole the show. We got, we got to have like a review show one time uh, for instead instead of doing each of these separately, like maybe like a Bloomhouse trilogy episode of Slash Tracks reviews compilation. Yeah, all yeah. all one. Yeah, all yeah. in one. Yeah, I'm down with once, that. Once we get the third one watched together, um, but yeah, man, I hope you had a good Halloween. Hope everybody did. Happy late Halloween, early Thanksgiving, I guess. Yeah. Um, do we can we announce what the finale is going to be for season three? Yeah. I'll let you do it, man, because you've been you've been rooting for this movie for a while. Go for it. No, you go for it because I don't remember it. Oh, Freddy versus Jason, man. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Freddy versus Jason is going to be Slash Tracks season three finale, and I'm sure that'll be coming sometime uh, late this month or early December. Looking so. forward to it. Hey, Freddy vs. Jason, the classic Halloween, uh, classic Christmas film. So. Oh yeah, classic. Looking man. forward to it. Yeah. Happy Fuck Halloween, Bruins. guys. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Thank you, everybody. Be excellent to each other. 
The sun never sets on those who ride into it, all that stuff. Say goodnight, Alex. Good night, Alex. Mahalo, dogs. Mahalo, oh, Sasha dog. Holler. Bye. What up, Josh? What up, Alex? Slash track. What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head.